Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I've got a different kind of haul to share with you guys. I've got a huge Goodwill collective haul to share with you. And a lot of it is some vintage books and stuff that I want to use to make some junk journals and some game stuff to put some ephemera in. So it might seem a little random, but this is all stuff that I'm going to be using in junk journals and stuff. So let me push this back and get started. So I'm going to try to pull things out slowly. So the first thing that I picked up, by the way, most of this was um, on sale. So this alone, like everything I got was basically 50 cents each um, or a dollar. So we spent collectively way less than how much one game board would have cost. So let's just put it that way. So the first thing that I picked up is this Hershey Park carousel. And it is so cute. It's only 50 cents. And I love how it's supposed to be, like, it looks supposed to look vintage and stuff. And once I saw this on the shelf, it caught my eye. So I thought I'd pick this up to throw all of my ephemera in that I picked up this trip. But right now it's full of all the game pieces that I um, took out. So basically what happened when I went to Maine, I bought like a couple game boards from Dollar Tree, I mean Dollar Tree, um, from Goodwill for the 50 cent price and or dollar and I like basically took out the parts that I wanted like the game pieces, the little game cards and like sometimes part of the game board and whatnot and then just threw away the rest of them. So yeah, these are all the game pieces. So there's some clue game pieces in here and there's a couple games. And then I think this is from Clue. So I plan to use this, like these game cards and stuff, for some ephemera, maybe in a game themed um, junk journal or something. So let me keep this open on the side so I can put everything that I find in there. So this is another set of um, game cards from this game called um, So You Think You Know Maine. And I thought this was amazing, it made me laugh so hard when I saw it. This was um, actually 50 cents I think or a dollar and this is just part of the box that it came with just because the box itself made me want it and it came with these game cards which ask a bunch of questions obviously about Maine and I thought I could use these for some sort of craft. And then I also picked up, sorry I'm just picking up stuff from the big bag so if there's no rhyme or reason to this order, I'm sorry. This awesome Disney mug, it was also 50 cents. And it's from the Walt Disney World Tour. And I thought it was really cool. There was like a lot of them. It says all the Disney places in there. There was a lot of these, so someone must have donated their set, but I thought it was really cool. I love all things Disney, if you didn't already know, so I had to get it. This is also another one of those games that I picked up. It's called Balderdash. I didn't know what it was, but it came with these like um, answer sheets. You know what you when you answer things during the games. And then this is the oh here it is. This is what the game is called, the hilarious bluffing game. So these are the game cards that it comes with, and I thought I could use these. This looked really old, so I thought it would be really cool to have. And then I also picked up this. This is a little random. This set of Looney Tunes um, playing cards. I went through it when we got home and made sure it had all the sets. And it actually is a complete um, set of cards. So pretty cool. I don't know. I'm a 90s baby. So we grew up with those cartoons. And I thought it would be really cool to have. I also picked up this um, Learning Development Aids from England. And it's the Why Because set. And this was also 50 cents, so you're supposed to use this with um, kids to help them learn and stuff. But I thought these would be really cool. These are from Bemrose UK Limited, Wishbetch, England, 1979. So they're from 1979, and I thought they would look really cool in a junk journal. It's supposed to be like, oh, why is, why is this plate broken? Oh, because she threw it or dropped it or something like that. So, yeah. Thought this was really cool and it was only 50 cents so why not like I said everything that I picked up was basically 50 cents another cool thing that I picked up is this set it's like a game it's called funny bones and it's really old it's from the Parker Brothers it's from 1968 
This was also 50 cents and I thought this looked amazing. Like how cool would this look in a page? Like this design is beautiful and it's just, I don't know what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to like put body parts on stuff and it's supposed to be fun, but we'll see if we ever get around to playing it. But <laughs> they're so pretty and I like how vibrant it is and it's really old. So I don't know. It just caught my eye when we went to the Goodwill. This is, by the way, a collective haul of, like, three or four Goodwills. If you watch our main vlog, which I don't know if that'll be up before this or not. If it is, I'll link it in the description below so you guys can watch as we went through these Goodwills. But, yeah. So, I see some more game pieces. So, this is from the Balderdash stuff. And then this is some Clue stuff that I kept... These are like the instructions because I can use those too. Basically anything I can use I kept. So these are some more um, learning cards. And there was three sets in that Goodwill and I picked up each one because they were only 50 cents. And they are from... Let's see if there's a year on this. No, maybe on the cards. So they say a bunch of stuff. You're supposed to color the other side. I don't know if you're supposed to color it like that, but like color it like the front, but I thought they were really cool. And I don't know. If I don't end up using all of it, I can always keep them for when I eventually have kids, <laughs> you know? So each set is different. It doesn't say a year on them, but they look really like vintage. So I thought these would be really cool to use. A lot of you are probably thinking about, like, why is she buying all this junk and stuff? But a lot of it is useful to use as ephemera, like, especially if it's only 50 cents. These things can be pretty expensive, and I think it's pretty cool to use things that are, like, historic. Like, old things that people actually used to use back in the day, so, yeah. So I also picked up quite a lot of um, sewing patterns. So this first one I picked up, it looks like this. These were all 50 cents as well. Let's see if I can find a year. This one's 1995, so it's not that old. But I thought it was really cute because these were some of the styles that I used to wear. Like those jean dresses and stuff. This next one is McCall's. Let's see if I can find a year. A lot of these aren't too old because I wanted the envelopes to be intact so I can use these in a journal hopefully so this one is 1992 this one is really cute these outfits were adorable so this is from oh this might be the one that I couldn't find the year for so there's no year on this one because it's probably missing it's probably on the flap or something this one is from Simplicity. Sorry, it was out of. A lot of these I picked because I liked the graphics as well on the covers. So this one is from 1978. So pretty cool. Love the graphics on that. This one looks so cute. I love it. I love the outfit. So 1975 for that one. This one looks really like 80s or 90s. <laughs> It's really pretty. So this one is from 1988. This one is the last one. And this is what it looks like. I just love the graphics on these. They look so pretty. So 1989. So I picked up quite a few. I know there's some other places like other thrift stores and flea markets and stuff where they sell it cheaper than 50 cents. But... In Long Island, you don't really have many options, so I took advantage of when I went to Maine to pick up these for that price. Next, oh, this is the little game board from the Balderdash game. So this is what it looks like. It's like long ways. It's very short, so it's interesting. But yeah, so this is the rules for the So You Think You Know Maine. Then I got a lot of um, kids' books because... There's two reasons for this. One, I want to use them for some junk journals, like images and stuff. But I also, like, recently started missing all of the books that I had when I was little. 
um, we used to have this bookshelf in my brother's room full of all of our old books that I used to read when I was little, all the cliche like gold little golden books and all that stuff and my brother got rid of it when he got older and a lot of them might be in the garage but they might be ruined by now you know with squirrels and stuff so I just picked up some that looked familiar and like brought some memories back and others I just got for images that I could use for um, my junk journals and my journaling and stuff so literally all of these books that you're about to see were either 50 cents or like stuff that I got like this for the cover so that I could turn it into a junk journal like this was 150 and stuff so most of the kids books were only 50 cents because I limited myself to that unless it was really awesome and I paid a dollar so yeah you're gonna see a lot so I got this Walt Disney real life monsters I really loved this inside cover it looks really awesome I was considering turning this itself into a junk journal, like keeping the this and then the spine, but I think it would be too large. But the graphics in this are amazing. And yeah, so I picked this up. This was 50 cents. This one, like I said, I'm going to use for the cover and the spine. And this was 150. So I just love that it was plain and it was intact. And the inside is really cool inside cover let me see if I can find a year on this 1946 so I thought it was worth it the paper is like amazing it's like not even paper paper it's like thicker cardboardy paper so I thought that was cool and then this right here was actually 50 cents so let me see if I could rip this off nicely so this is a Yale Shakespeare Macbeth. So I guess it was a special edition of Macbeth that was printed for Yale. And I just loved how it looked. I mean, it's kind of small to turn into a journal, but it might be a cute little journal to have. So let's see if I can find a year on here. Given to Yale University Press in 1917. Okay, so copyright 1918. So this one's pretty old too, and I like that it had the library um little pocket in there so this was really cute it caught my eye right away this right here was 50 cents as well it's a little jungle book this is those little golden books this is from either 1997 or 2003 I can't really tell if this is a reprint or not but really cute this one is a princess one this is from 2012 so this one's recent because it also has all the new princesses in it but I love the Disney princesses and I love it. I'm definitely going to keep that. This one I got because I had this when I was little and I used to love this book so much. So this I'm definitely keeping to share with my children after I sanitize it. But this, I used to love this book. I read this book like 80 times when I was little. This one was pretty cool. I like there was a whole set of blue books like this and this one caught my eye because of course he's from England and you know Scott he's from England so this was only 50 cents this inside cover was amazing and I forgot what year this is from 1935 but I thought this was pretty cool because there's like pictures of England and stuff and whatnot but what really caught my eye is that it was just like a plain blue. I really loved the cover. It looks really clean and crisp. And it would be really cool to turn into a journal. But I don't know if I'm going to cut this up, to be honest. I did look this up. I forgot how much it was online. But I'm pretty sure it was like 30 bucks or something when I looked up the price. So this was well worth it for 50 cents. It goes to show you, you never know what gold you'll find at Goodwill. So next, I've got a couple more books and stuff. This one is the Pinocchio book. I don't think I had this when I was little, but I did have all of these um, these Disney books with these covers. So I thought this was pretty cool to have. The graphics are awesome. Actually, I think I might have had that. It looks very familiar. Here's another little golden book. And this one is from 1961. So the graphics are awesome. And I just love the little back on here. I'm probably going to keep that for something. This one is the Hunchback of Notre Dame. And it's 1996. So 
So this one, I remember watching this movie when I was little and being so scared. I don't know why. Uh, this one is the monster at the end of this book with the Grover. This one looks new. Oh, it's 1971. Not that new. So this looks really cool. Once again, sorry if you're bored of these books and stuff, but these graphics are going to be amazing to use. This one is Bambi. It's 1975. And you just can't find too many things like this nowadays. There's people selling books like this on eBay for like 20 bucks a book. So you know what? When you're buying it for 50 cents, I'm not going to complain. So this one's a counting book. This one I had when I was little, for sure. I remember this book very vividly. So this one is 1942. And those are a few more books. Some more goodies in here. Let's just say I bought a lot from Goodwill over the week. Week and a half. So I also bought this Beauty and the Beast VHS. I don't know if I had this already. I know we have a couple VHSs, but I wanted to have it just in case I didn't because Beauty and the Beast is one of my favorite Disney movies. But she's my di favorite Disney princess. So this right here is my favorite book. Sorry about the airplane, but there's a lot of planes flying around today. This is the favorite book that I found because it is a lavender cover and it was with 50 cents as well. Let's see if I could find a year. Hmm. 1981 so it's a reader's digest like something about that I think yeah best sellers from readers digest condensed books and oh, it's lavender so I'm gonna have to wait on this to create my like a beautiful um, junk journal because I need this one to be perfect or else I'm gonna cry if I mess it up <laughs> but for 50 cents you can't beat that this one I thought was also beautiful like look at this cover I couldn't leave it there. Even though there's some tape on the spine, I can't, I couldn't leave it there. It was beautiful. So let's see when this was. I think this is part of that same set. Let's see if I could find a year on here. 1958. This is a first edition as well. And like, it's pretty. I don't know. Something about this cover just called to me. It matches my nails. Ooh. So I definitely had to get that one. This one right here is just a little photo album, and I thought it was beautiful. Like, it, it looks pristine and brand new, like someone never used it, so it's got this, like, glassine kind of pages in between each picture. I don't know why. Are you supposed to keep that in there? But I thought it was really cool. It's not that old. It's only from 1997, but I thought it was beautiful. So I picked that up for 50 cents. Also picked up this set of postcards. And they're just like rose themed and I thought they were amazing and I could use them right now anyways. So this is comes straight from the UPS brand. I mean USPS. So I thought that was really cool for 50 cents. Now this one I really wanted because there was one book by this brand, this um, collection, that I had when I was little and that was the book like I used to have all the time. I think it might have been like the Let's Talk About Lying or something, but it was the same kid and whoever donated their collections donated a lot, but they didn't have this specific book that I wanted. But I picked up the one that was closest to it. It was the same color too, but if you guys know what I'm talking about, yeah. So basically these books teach kids about like lessons about what, like this one is about being wasteful. There was one about being like, um, being like, um, oh, not wasteful, but like overeating and stuff. And it was like a little kid during Thanksgiving and stuff. So it teaches them lessons and whatnot. This one is another little golden book. And it is Mickey and the Beanstalk. It's from 1988. And once again, I don't know if I'm going to keep all the covers and turn those into like maybe like a kid's book. But that would be pretty cool. And then this one is the 12 Days of Christmas from 1983. I think this one I paid a dollar for just because I like the Christmas theme. So I'm down to the last few things that I picked up. So 
if you're getting tired of this video, don't worry. So next I picked up this old Trivial Pursuit. There's a lot of these. If you go to any Goodwills, you'll find a lot of these. Trust me. So this was only $150, and it's heavy as heck. Um, I'm so tired of this game because I played, I was in the play, um, The Odd Couple when I was in high school and I played Sylvie. And we had to play this. We actually had to learn how to play this because we play our characters play this every time they met up. And oh my goodness gracious, I hated it. Oh, there's also some pieces from the Blues Clothes game that I bought because I wanted a handy dandy notepad and then it didn't really even have it. It just came with this. So I was a little upset about that, but I only paid 50 cents for that. But it came with cool um, cards and game pieces that I can use. So anyways, back to Trivial Pursuit. I bought this because I want to use um, the game pieces and whatnot. I also could probably play it too. My boyfriend kept asking me if we wanted to play, but it's really boring. I don't know. But I'm um, sorry if you like Trivial Pursuit. My bad. Um, so this was the 1981 version. I don't know if there's another version that has come out since then, but there are newer looking ones. I wanted an older looking one just because. So this is the Master Game Genius Edition. So that we picked up for only $1.50. Now, I didn't look up the price of how much Trivial Pursuit actually is, but I'm assuming it's not $1.50 in the store when you buy it. This next pick, I was so excited about. I have actually got this on, like, literally my first day in Maine, and I almost pooped myself. So this is a Princess Diana book, and it was only $2, which seems kind of pricey compared to everything that I bought, but this is literally huge. Like, I can't even fit it in the whole screen. Um... This is basically a gigantic book about her life, and, like, this is kind of the kind of, um, it's like those, um, living room table kind of books where you, like, leave them there, and, like, people can look through them and co start conversation and whatnot, but this book, if you look at the original price, was, sorry, I'm hitting the tripod, I can't even get it on screen, can I, was originally $50 in the USA, so for $2, uh, that's well worth it. And this book alone covers most of, well, pretty much everything that we bought at Goodwill. I don't even think we spent $50 or close to $50. So this alone would have been the price. So it's just like a bunch of pictures of her and about her life and everything about her. And I love Princess Diana. I remember vividly when we found out like about her accident and everything. And I just remember that growing up and I was like, I forgot what year that was. I remember being little and we were all upstairs watching TV in my parents' bedroom and I was like, oh my god, no, not the princess. Anyways, that's it for my quick haul. I mean, I'm saying quick, but it really wasn't quick. That is it for my collective Goodwill haul for my um, junk journals and stuff. I know this isn't typically the kind of haul I do on here. I wanted to share with you guys the fun vintage finds I was able to find. I said find way too many times in that sentence. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like and subscribe for more videos. Bye!